All right, boys, this is the $15 versus 150 budget fishing challenge in Fletcher. I don't know if we've gone as low as $15 here before. <laughs> Are you nervous today? I mean, do I have the $15 or do I have the 150 Step up to the mic, they gotta, they gotta do, hear you. Do I have the $15 or the $150, You sir? have the $15, sir. I, I plan to get payback on you because I had to use like a horrible budget in his video. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta get Fletcher back. I was talking to Tyler about it, I was like, man, Fletcher's gonna feel the pain, but I actually think you're gonna catch a lot of fish today, bro. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could, take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. So today, we're doing the multi-species challenge. Ooh. So it's whoever catches the most species wins the day. And what I makes like it, it even more interesting is the pond that we're going to is brackish water. It has freshwater fish, it has saltwater Ooh. fish, it has crabs, it has craw it has anything, it has eels. I actually went to the store, Fletch, for a little surprise. Instead of shopping out of your garage and taking all your stuff, oh, thanks. I decided to be a little respectful today <laughs> and just go to the store. You know, I went there early this morning and we got a bag of tackle, man. <laughs> so, we got a lot of stuff in here. I bought about $100 worth of baits. You're gonna get to pick whatever you want, Fletcher. Some shrimp. Bro, they didn't have the bait kind, man. I had to go with the Great Value brand, but uh, <laughs> yeah. hey, man, if you guys are wondering, 80 calories, one gram of fat, zero carbs, 15 grams of protein. These puppies are packed. There Pour we go. Pour it all out. Pour, Pour it, all, it out. all out. So, what am I doing? I'm picking out $15 worth of stuff. I actually have one more thing. Hold on. This is a whole nother thing. All we, the mini lures. I, I bought those Ooh, the other day, but yeah, you can pick out spicy. some mini, mini too. It's a good multi-species like little kit. How much are these guys? Are these like a dollar? Because they're so small. They're or? actually really the the micro crankbaits were only like a dollar twenty-five at the store. So oh, yeah, that, it, that's not you, bad you at get all. It for a dollar. So I, I can work with a fifteen dollar budget, is what you're saying? No, hundred okay. percent. With like multiple different baits too. So here's the baits. <laughs> what am I working with rod wise? Do I have to pick out my rod with the budget? Yeah, so <laughs> this is what I was waiting to do. I was waiting on you to ask that because that's a very important question for us. And uh, I got a couple different options, Fletch. I don't know if you're gonna love either of them. But you let me know what you think. So you stay here. Uh, um, okay. Just, I'll keep, just stay I'll here. Much. All right, Fletch. Here's All your right. options. Is there a micro rod? <laughs> mini okay. rod. You could go with a mini rod, or okay. you can go with the old-fashioned bamboo, pole. all the way back to the 1700s. Bamboo rod with a little bit of gloss on top. Yeah, I'm okay. sure these things go back further than Yeah, the they definitely go. <laughs> I feel they like go back. They these go back probably ages. as old as time. Yeah, no, they are old as time for sure. But yeah, that's that's your option. So this is actually nine dollars retail Fletcher. I used it the other day and broke it. So I think I'll, <laughs> I'll cut you some slack and give it to you for like seven bucks. Seven that's bucks. What I was thinking, yeah. That's, so, that's all the discount I get. Two dollars. Okay, okay, six dollars. For a broken six for a broken stick. Six dollars. Okay. Six dollars. We'll do six. What's my price? Price range on this. That's gonna be twelve dollars. Twelve? Oh wow! So if I get this easier to use, I don't know actually. I never, <laughs> yeah. I never use this thing. Or I can get the cheaper rod and get more baits. Drum roll, please. I'm definitely like leaning more towards the bait side of things. I'm thinking having a few more options on that end is gonna be the move. So I'm gonna decline the, the offer okay. on the mini rod and we're gonna go with the old bamboo pole. Tie two lines on and double jig. That's, that's pretty smart. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, I didn't even think about that. It's a big brain idea. With that being said, six bucks for this. Have at it, Fletcher. There's a million lures on the ground. Pick out what you want. We don't have any price tags down here, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, figure out what I want. So how much are these puppies? So that whole pack's gonna be a lot of money. But, but I, I could one take thing one. I will say, since you are on a $15 budget, I'd say like you could take one or two if you wanted to. Okay. I'd say 50 cents a pop. Yeah, this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be two dollars actually. Two dollars. Um, that's like a dollar ninety six at the store. I just bought it. Um, but yeah, you can actually pluck out just two of them out of the package if you have to, because I understand. Okay. You're, you're balling on balling a budget. Balling on a budget. Man. We're gonna, we're gonna build a variety pack for sure. Um, I might take the beetle spin. We're gonna take that. These are what you said are a dollar a pop. These are a dollar a pop. The little mini These crank are baits. Be two dollars. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go. Oh, no way you're choosing that big. I bro. think <laughs> I should have. I, I think I'm going with this little mini crank bait. It's or it's like a, it's a jerk bait. small jerk bait. So we got five more dollars to work with. I'm gonna get one of these little micro panfish jigs. Kind of like this hot pink tip they got on them. Dude, I, I'm upset about the jerk bait, man. 
That thing is some sauce. <laughs> I was already envisioning me starting off the video with that. You were thinking about, is Dude, that what you wanted? Uh, bro, let me just tell you, man. Like, <laughs> this thing, just, just the color on it, boys. Like, it's got the chrome in the black bag, just natural color. We actually fished with it the other day, and, like, I, I couldn't get the fish off of it. You're going to smoke them on this. I'm kind of concerned, man. I think you're going to smack them. I'm going to grab two of these. What does two of these little jigs run me? That'll, that'll run you a dollar, 50 uh, cents pop. A dollar? Okay. So that puts us at 11. Here's some little bait hooks. We're gonna take a few of, I mean the whole whole pack's only two dollars. So $2? if you wanna take the whole pack, you can. You okay. Can, you can afford that easily. So that's- Actually, no, you're at 11. And you also need fishing line and possibly shrimp. How much is the fishing line? 50 cents a foot. 50 cents a foot? I actually know, that's, that's I was a like, rough. dang dude, you drive a hard 50 cents every bargain. three foot. 50 cents, how about like I get a, a dock length for a dollar? That's a bargain. We'll, we'll do it, Fletch. You know what? I actually feel kind of bad for, for doing this to him. Okay, we'll give you a dox link. That's probably good. That's good right there. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll give you that, Fletch. I still feel like I'm getting bamboozled over here for a dollar for 30 yards of line. <laughs> I mean, it ain't, it ain't too shabby, man. Line's expensive nowadays, man, especially with inflation. Is this even floor carbon? I don't even know what it is, but it'll work. <laughs> Moss green. <laughs> Extra strong. Extra strong. That's all that Extra matters. Extra strong. All right, well, we got some line. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to need something for those hooks, so a little bit of scrimp. Get how much How much do these scrimp cost? So I actually checked the price this morning. This was $8 for the whole bag. There's four servings per container. Serving size, about 15 shrimp. Holy, okay. So I get 15 shrimp? Yeah, no, that's, yeah. Yeah. You gonna take a bite? I might. Okay, we're good. Okay. <laughs> good bang for my buck right there. All right, boys, so now that Fletch got everything that he has, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. So I only spent $100 at Walmart here, and uh, I got a lot of options. So I brought a couple rods out today. There's two different ways we could go about this. This Zebco right here, I believe is only 40 bucks. I can buy this, but I don't even think I'll be able to fill out my budget with just this and the baits. Like I could take everything and it wouldn't even hit 150 bucks. Or I could go here with the old kicking combo, $100 combo, and then we can get 50 bucks worth of baits. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up going with. By the way, if you guys wanna check out any of the Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combos, you can check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. I'm excited to use a spinning setup today, especially for the multi-species. Does come that in, come with a whopper plopper or? I'm gonna buy it, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's gonna be five bucks, man. All right, is that fair? It's, it's missing a hook, it's missing a little little piece on yeah, there. Yeah, you can have that for five. Okay, so this is another five bucks. 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 This Are is you? this is three dollars, okay? This is three dollars. I'm just going off, Fletcher. Yeah, it looks I, I like you just get all of it. I don't care. I, I pretty much get all of it, bro. Okay, we're doing that. I'm gonna get to choose whatever the heck I want, and uh, <laughs> that is it for the tackle portion, boys. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the golf cart. I'm gonna strand Fletcher off at a random location. Oh, and thanks. then uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go hop around at a multi-species pond and see what I can catch. What is your goal today? My goal is to beat you, obviously. So what do you think that's gonna take? We're gonna um, do predictions. I think I can catch six to eight species. Holy cow. I will be so impressed. Like, six to eight species. Okay, I guess, I guess that's the goal, guys. Six to eight species, let's go ahead and get it. <laughs> All right, Fletch. Thanks, Dad, for dropping me ready? off at school. Are you ready, son? <laughs> you ready to smoke them? I'm ready, dude. You packed me a lunch, too? I got that shrimp for you. <laughs> shrimp. You're know, you gonna have a little extra, more than a serving size, you know? <laughs> we have to grill that up. <laughs> Let the best man win, man. Cheers, brother. Yes, Cheers. sir. I, I better see them eight species. <laughs> I better see it. All right, boys, we're gonna drive to this other canal that's brackish water. Got a bunch of salt water and freshwater species. Start down in this corner. I'm curious to see what Fletcher ends up doing, if he ends up catching a lot of fish or not. I guess we're gonna see. He seems really confident. I have a few options here. We could either like double rod this, cause I don't really feel like we need the length and kind of like do one of these guys do a little jig in action, or we could do one long guy and get a little bit farther out if we need to. I could do a live bait and an artificial bait all at the same time. It's the best of both worlds. Dun, 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 dun. They honestly should have casted me for that roll. All right, boys, we are here. 
I'm gonna do a little tour real quick just to show you guys what we're working with. So we got this little canal here. This connects to the pond that's over here to the right. I'm actually seeing a little bit of bait plop and there's a good bit of current. Um, yeah, there's a lot of bait fish. So this place has bass. We saw like a five pounder swimming the other day. It's got tarpon, sheep's head, flounder, redfish, ladyfish. I mean, anything you could really think of, these ponds have. And it also connects back here to this natural marsh little creek. And uh, then over here on the other side of this bridge, it connects to another canal that connects to this long pond. So we're gonna be able to catch a bunch of different fish in here. I'm pretty pumped about it. And to be honest, guys, I think I'm actually gonna start with this micro whopper plopper right here. See if we can go ahead and start the video off with a bass or anything that would really try to eat this and uh, just kind of get on board real quick. Then we'll come back to the car and we'll rig up to uh, a couple other baits. Got a little jiggy. Rod number one. Oh yeah, let's see. Let's see how she does. Give her a little toss. Oh, that's perfect. Let's uh, let that sit there while we get rod number two rigged up. That Hannah Montana special. All right, we're going to see if we can get a fish right off the rip here. Just throwing a little topwater action. Oh my gosh, there's so much bait. <gasps> big bass, big bass. <sighs> Dude, he's, he's still under it. He's still under it. That would have been insane on the first cast just to get swamped. I mean, he literally went all the way up to it. It looks like a three pounder. Gosh, that shade looks so so good, guys. Oh, there's a wake. There's a wake to the left. He's coming. Oh, dude, I got too excited. There was a wake coming up right behind it, and he just kind of kissed it. I actually don't think that that was a bass. That was something else. Could have been a little saltwater fish. Definitely wasn't a bluegill either. Let's dive into our shrimp bag now and get us a little piece of shrimp. Come here. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they just start munching this stuff because if we start getting bites on the shrimp, we could go through all 15 of these real quick. I'm thinking that's a good start there though. We're rigged and ready to go, guys. All right. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's check out this double trouble. We got our jig, we got our shrimp, money money all right boys they do not seem to be wanting to eat this top water that one just came right up to it and just nosed it and then the other fish was just right up behind it and barely nipped at it that's a sign telling me that they don't want top water right now so what we're going to do is we're going to go back here look through our tackle bag and see if there's something else that we have that we could catch a fish on honestly guys there's no telling what noah's doing right now he got all kinds of things I mean, it seems like that man just set himself up for success. <laughs> he went to the store, bought all the baits, <laughs> and just took all of them. <laughs> and he left me with these two bamboo poles and a little bit of line and uh, some bait and a few jigs. And that's all we got to work with. If he loses, he should be sh ashamed of himself. I'm gonna try one of these grubs, guys. Just a little tiny micro bait. It's got a pink head and a little tiny paddle tail swim bait on the back. I think this bait is perfect for really any species that would want to bite. It's one of those things, you know, that fish didn't want to eat the top water. I wonder if we can even throw this in there and catch them real quick. I'm curious. Boom, pow. We should not have a problem getting a bass or anything really to eat this bait. Throw it right in there in this little pocket. I know there's more than just that bass in here. Come here, little fishy fishy. Little fishy fishy. Now, these fish on this side are super spooked, guys. <laughs> like, super, super spooked. I think it might be a lost cause. He's just staring at me with disbelief that I would even try such a atrocious tactic. He's like, you really think I'm gonna fall for that, boy? Going back in the forest, boys. I'm actually gonna walk all the way till the end over here. Is that a fish? No. I think there's just some on the bottom there, but I thought it was a fish, man. Made my heart stop. Got these little rocks right here, and then you have that natural little creek that I was talking about. Oh, guys. Guys, there's a blue crab right here. There's a blue crab. That's got to count as a species. Come on. Yes. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Stay on. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Hold on to that hook. Hold on to that hook. 
<laughs> oh, he's pissed off. He's pissed off. He's holding it. Hold it. Hold on. We're coming. We're coming back. We're gonna get the shrimp. We got a feisty little blue crab, and we're catching them. <laughs> we catch them with a fishing rod. That counts, dude. That is for sure species. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. All right, come on. Come on, big boy. I'll just let that sit and soak for a second. See if we can't can't get him to fully commit on that. You can always load it up with a new shrimp. Well, we haven't seen anything yet. Nothing to really key us off. We're not really too deep into the challenge yet, so I'm not worried, but I do want to get on board and just catch a fish. I haven't seen anything on this side. The other side at least had a lot of fish. This side's kind of dead. Unless there's some fish that I just can't see in the shade. Yep. Oh gosh. I don't know what that was. Come on. Okay, well there's fish in here. That's a Oh, dude, he ate me on the fall, man. Here we go, here we go, boys. They're right out here in the middle. I can't see him. Watch my line. Yep, he just he hit it. They're, oh no! That was something. Dude, that fish felt kind of big, man. No shot. That is crazy. Well, we just found a little stack of something here. It's definitely a saltwater species. I got a stick. <sighs> My heart about stopped, man. Well, that is not gonna count as a species. <laughs> I wish it could. Catch an old stick fish, man. All right, I'm ready to lock it in, man. I missed a fish, had a couple fish miss the bait. Caught me a stick, it is time, boys. Oh, I just got hit right there. See, they're in here. Just getting these fish to actually eat the bait, that's, that's the tricky part. Let the shrimp sit here for a second now. Let's see if we got our crab. Oh, oh no, am I stuck stuck? Am I stuck? Oh. Try to take me under a rock. No, no, he took my shrimp. Let's go stick this somewhere else. I think that crab's gonna be a long shot to get unless he just like gets the hook in his mouth. If you throw out live bait, crabs pick you clean all the time. Very rarely do you actually get them on a hook. You kind of need a trap. I'm thinking the move is just gonna be to bring the shrimp straight to where this feeder's at and let it soak. Here we go. Let's just let that puppy sit right there. And we're gonna put our rod where it's, it's slightly secure. <laughs> it could definitely get pulled in, but let's uh let's just stand close by, see what happens. We'll do our little jigging while that thing kind of just hangs out and waits for a bite. Oh, 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 that was my first bite. That was my first official bite, come on. Come back, come back, fishy, fishy. Come on, let's get a species on the board. Oh, dude, I don't know what was just biting me there, but it was definitely some sort of saltwater fish. That was no way that's a bass or a bluegill. I was letting this thing sink on the bottom. Maybe that's just the go. I got one. There we go. We got something. Oh gosh. I don't know what I got, guys. Oh gosh. Oh, it's a catfish. There's no way. We just caught a catfish on this mini jig head. We couldn't get anything to bite. And we just got a catfish. This is huge. No way, man. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yes, <laughs> look at that. We caught a catfish on the mini jig head. Beautiful little flathead. Oh my gosh, look at that. Well, first fish of the multi-species challenge is a catfish, let's go. I would have never thought out of everything in here between the flounder, the bluegill, the bass, that a catfish would have been eating this small bait. Let him swim another day. <laughs> that is sick. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Well, we are one species down. We caught a catfish and that's huge guys because I know for a fact that we can catch a bluegill. If we could have caught a flounder, oh my gosh, we would have been cooking. We would have been cooking. I know Fletcher's talking about all these species, but we would have been on a different level for sure. Oh, no, no, <laughs> we're getting some action now. Oh no, oh my gosh. All right, we just had to get in the right area. They're stacked up here. Come on, come on now, baby. Yes, no, no. 
Oh, we actually had that one hooked there. Yeah, oh, golly. All right, boys, we're gonna cut off this mini jig head and we're gonna see our next option. Then we're gonna move spots. So one thing that I did buy at Walmart, these jig heads right here, and I think I'm just gonna rig up like a standard swim bait on here. I think we can catch a ton of different fish. It's probably one of the most versatile rigs that we have. And for our bait, we could put like one of these little shrimp on there, but we might save that until later. But I think I'm just gonna put on one of these basic DOA swim baits. And uh, this should be money for really whatever bites. We can catch some bass on this. Could even have a chance at a flounder, a redfish. You can catch a bunch of different species on that thing right there. All right, let's go to the next spot. Come on. Little vision, vision. Little. Yes, yes, yes. Species number one. That's a bluegill. Confirmed. Confirmed. Ooh. Let's get that pick for confirmation. Boom. All right, <laughs> species number one knocked off. I definitely think we can get a bass. I think we can get some saltwater species. Oh, oh my rod, my rod. It just got pulled. Oh God, hold on, hold on, hold on. Species number two. Oh no. It's a bluegill. It's another bluegill. Oh my gosh, he almost took my whole rod in the water though. All right, it's it's heating up guys. It's heating up. We have to bring my shrimp over here. This is clearly the hot spot. All right, let's go ahead and put her in and let's go grab all the gear. We are at the next spot. Beautiful little pocket here. I've actually never fished here before, but it's connected to the same place that we just fished. So hopefully we can find some fish scattered out here. We're gonna start throwing around this swim bait and uh, might be able to knock off a bass real quick. Hopefully a redfish. That cast a lot. That must have been an alligator. That had to have been an alligator. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know what just bit me, but that was definitely a saltwater fish. Was not fresh water. Not a bass. Let's see if we can get him to bite again. Yeah, that was a huge alligator, boys. Does that count as a species? Well, he just ran right through my fishing spot, so. That stinks. Let's keep on casting here. First cast got bit, that's a good sign. Especially for this bait. There we go, baby. Honestly, it might be. Oh, that just got taken instantly. There we go. Fish number two or three. <laughs> and this one is another bluegill, I think. And wait, it definitely has some like more distinctive markings, but I think it's just like some color variation between the bluegill. We'll take a picture of that one because that one looks noticeably different than the other two that we caught. It just could be a, a coloring thing, but definitely could be a different species as well. Fish numero tres. Appreciate the nibble. All right, we're, we're, we're fired up now. We're fired up. Noah is not gonna know what's gonna hit him. I was excited to fish this little grass here in the corner, but to be honest, after that gator did that, <laughs> might as well start going away from that. There's a bass just looking at me. What are you doing, dude? There's a big fish right there. Looks like it might just be a tilapia though. There's a little bass. All right, going on to spot number three. Oh, oh, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Another one? Another one? I didn't even get a chance to put that down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another meaty bluegill. I mean, they are popping right here, guys. They are popping. Man, it's the biggest one yet. Okay. Can another species, like a for sure a different species, please bite my shrimp. On to spot number three. I'll whip out our swim bait again. See if we can catch one real quick, guys. I want to get on board with another species. I cannot believe I haven't caught a bass yet. That's just crazy. And look at this cool little bridge that we can walk on. Sometimes I can see the fish on this spot, so we got to keep our eyes open. It's actually a really shallow flat right here. Yeah, it's super shallow. I can beam this thing. Actually got something of weight on it. There we go. That's something big, guys. Oh, I think it's a nice bass. Yeah, it is. It's a nice bass. There we go. Come on, baby. 
I was hoping it was a redfish, but I will take a bass all day long. He just put up some bait fish. He choked this thing, man. He liked it. So I'm gonna flip you on up here, buddy. Yep. He ain't even that big, man. It's a little tiny guy. But that is our second species. Little largemouth bass on a saltwater swim bait. You gotta love it. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for biting. Heck yeah, boys. That's money. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. I'll put this through here this time <laughs> because I don't trust this thing to not get pulled in at this rate. That might make things difficult. Maybe that's not. I like a better place I can put this. Oh, okay. There's a fish. That is a fish. Hello. Hello. That's definitely a different species. That's gotta be. <laughs> Maybe it's another bluegill. I'm really gonna be relying on some Google searches here to, to identify all these panfish. We're gonna have to figure this out at some point. <laughs> Look at this mullet jumping, man. That is insane. Look at them jumping. They're going like five foot out of the water. They're having the time of their life. I don't know how the heck we would catch a mullet. I don't even know if that's possible. Oh, dude. I think I see it. Yeah, that's definitely a fish. I think. Dude, that looks like a big red fish, man. And he was coming right towards my bait. Oh, my gosh. Either it was a big red fish or it was a mullet. We got a bass and a cat. We need a saltwater species. You know what, guys? We're about to do the most OP move. A little hot tip action on this jig. Oh, yeah. Give me a little succulent piece of scrimp, daddy. Stick on that little hot tip. Oh, yeah. They ain't gonna be able to resist that. Might eat it myself. These fish don't hurry up. Oh, yeah. It's the hot tip, baby. It's the hot tip. Let's go. <laughs> I knew that was gonna work. I knew it. They, there's something about the hot tip that just gets them all fired up. Again, we are unsure on our species here. Pretty sure it's a bluegill, but it could be something else. So we're gonna we're gonna identify with the with the photo later. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Let's get another little piece of shrimp for the hot tip. <laughs> the hot tip is gonna be the power move, guys. I'm telling you, we ain't gonna be able to keep them off. All right, boys, out at a new spot, same pond. It's actually a bridge right here. I've caught a good bit of fish around this area. We're gonna see if we can catch something up in here. I'm gonna step down on this edge. There's usually some fish right up under this bridge that I like to eat. If I can skip the swim bait up in there, I'll probably get a couple good bites. Oh, dude, we got a nasty skip. We should get eaten here. Just like that. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's something nice. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's a nice bass, man. Look at that. That's not gonna help us, but that was just a sick eat, dude. He's sitting right on that piling. Gosh, that thing fought good for the size of him. It's just like a two pounder. Well, thank you for biting, baby. Not a big one, but that was a sick eat. If I didn't have a bass, I'd be a little more excited for him, but we gotta keep on hunting. But there's some other fish that hang around here. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, the, the hot tip ain't so hot anymore. Let's cut this off and see if we can't try one of these other little lures get something popping for us let's try the old beetle spin dude i used to throw this bait religiously as a kid in the creek in like little golf course ponds and time and time again i just keep on coming back it's the gift that keeps on giving i'll start casting around here to the left there's a dude the gator over there that thing has to be nine ten foot long just the head on that thing is like three and a half foot ah oh, caught grass man Boys, I think we're gonna go check up on Fletcher and maybe try to catch a bluegill right next to him. <laughs> Trying to be as silent as a mouse. Oh, do I have one? Oh yes, I got a bass, guys. I got a bass, I got a bass. Oh, oh gosh, you're trying to go way up underneath there. Oh no, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Species number two officially. One of those other little panfish, or maybe two of them might have been a different species, but we definitely got something different this time. That is a largemouth bass. That is what we we're looking for. The beetle spin got the job done. Come back in five years and catch you when you're 10 pounds. Thank you for the, ow, 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 ow. 
see what the man's doing. The man with the plan. <laughs> oh, look who it is, dude. I smell trouble. Are you smoking them? Dude, we've caught them, man. We got an aquarium full of fish and don't tell me how many species oh it's it's more than you can handle is it really <laughs> let's just hope it's not six or seven because you you were pretty confident about saying that earlier all right boys so we have a couple options here we have a rooster tail and we have all these mini cranks i think i want to start off with a rooster tail and just see if we can catch something on it catch a bluegill more importantly and maybe we can switch to those other baits and might be able to catch something else should be some more bluegill here hopefully fletcher didn't just sore lip them but I think we should be able to catch a few. I got the sauce, Flusher. You ain't got nothing. A little, yeah, rooster. a little rooster. Oh, dude, this rooster tail is gonna get smoked. It looks good. It looks amazing. Dude, I, you cannot just be rolling up in here. Just like, dude, oh, no. get out of here with that. Dude, thing. that thing is slammed. It. You know what, Noah? Since you came over here. It took my spot. I'm gonna have to take the golf cart to go take your spot. <laughs> and we're really gonna see who the best is because, oh, because if I catch more species than you and fish your spot and my spot and you fish your spot and my spot, you came in here just trying to get a quick lick on these bluegill. It's a quick one. I was like, you know what? I haven't caught any bluegill today. I bet I know the perfect spot to catch one. And then I get a bite and I haven't had anything, so. Yeah, serves you right, dude. All right, you come come get your grimy little lures out of my golf cart. You know, I didn't leave no much to work with. I caught a lot of this active fish. I'm thinking we throw a little fresh shrimp up in there. We gonna get them, son. We gonna get them. Cannot believe Fletcher over here. He's gonna take the golf cart from me. Honestly, it's fair. He's He's got 15 bucks. Listen, I don't know if it's the beetle spin, or not the beetle spin, the the rooster tail or not but we had these other micro baits let's switch up here give this old rooster tail a little snippy snip i want to go with the dang lipless man i want to go with the trap we're officially op we're overpowered guys with the, with the with the extendo that's what i'm talking about let's actually walk down to the far end of this little canal it connects to the marsh the saltwater marsh and I think we might be able to dangle this thing outside of the marsh and pull up something else. Dude, I got one right away. I didn't even move it. Oh my gosh, I think it's just a little bluegill. Yes, it is, boys. Look at that. I didn't even move that bait. Not a big one by any means, but that is sick, man. Right on the edge of those lily pads. And I got them hooked in the weirdest little spot right up under the chin it's like he swiped at it or i just happened to fall right in front of his face and just snag him somehow but that's a beautiful little bluegill that is bass candy right there that is the size you want to live bait fish with but there we go boys that is our third species this is not great it's low tide so there's no water in this creek oh that's that's wonderful usually it's all the way up here and there's room to work with but uh does not look like we got that today unfortunately dude these fish are schooling right here look at that fish are literally look at them twirling there we go look at that little tiny bass gosh we do not need any more bass but that was a sick bite look at him eat that thing he was just chasing bait this is a perfect perfect size for him to come up and eat look at him eat that trap little micro bass on the micro trap it don't get much better than that oh there you go look at that a little tiny bass he's just schooling on little bait fish over there throw a micro trap and get smoked all right boys three species we've caught about five fish maybe six we're we're on board here i just really want to get another species at least to feel comfortable i feel like i'm not really going to feel comfortable until i'm at four or five Unless Fletcher just only has a couple species and he's been lying to me, which he's known to do. He'll try to trick me sometimes. All right, boys, I moved over all my stuff. I walked back over to this bridge just to see if we can get us a saltwater fish. We're going to keep this lipless on for just a second. Because if we can get one more species here, guys, that'd be, that'd have us in a good spot. We got three so far, so we're sitting all right. But if we can catch one more right here, maybe even a ladyfish, redfish, or something something that i eat this thing that would be clutch well would you look at that that was right where i want to fish <laughs> dude you're stealing my spot man did you smoke them down there 
Dude, I want to talk about it. All right, Fletch, since you stole my uh, the, the the golf cart, I'm going to steal it back, dude. Dude, you were the one who started with the steal, and you stole my spot, so I took the cart. I, I just got to steal it back. All right, boys, this is the plan. We're going to go back to the spot with the walking bridge. I think it might be worth going back and trying to catch one. Gummy, Vigi, Vigi. Get my bait in your mouth. Get my bait in your mouth. Now, do it. Do it. All right, boys, we back. And we're gonna do another little bait switch right here. So if we're really wanting to catch one of these redfish, I really think that we should go back to that big swim bait that we had tied on. So I'm going to cut that mini trap off and we're gonna flop this little jig head back on, but we're gonna do something. I'm actually gonna put one of the shrimp on. That's something I think we can hop off the bottom a little more, maybe get one of these flounder. Redfish is still eating. I think a bass would even eat it still, but we don't need to catch any more bass. Ooh, these puppies stank, boy. Well, there we go, boys. Got a little shrimp on, just a jig head. Let's try that. I'm losing it, guys. The heat, this bamboo pole, it's taking a toll on my psyche. Something, something. If I could just get more than five feet off the bank, that would be just splendid. We'd be having a great time. So we spotted some fish when we were here earlier. The problem is this wind's kind of picked up a little bit more. So it might be hard for us to see. Something dark in the water right there. I just can't tell if it's a fish or something on the bottom. I'm just gonna turn this thing into a bow and arrow and spear fish. Dude, huge fish just moved right there. This is so aggravating guys. I feel like we're so close to hooking one of these crazy saltwater fish so tough to see i wish there was just like no wind at all well guys that's all she wrote right here you know what i'm gonna do guys next time i'm gonna film a video i'm gonna do a, a one dollar versus one thousand dollar budget fishing challenge and give no the one dollar budget he didn't even give me a chance to win the 150 fifty dollar budget he just said i had to deal with it all right boys here's where all the info comes out what's the damage what you got, Fletch? How many species? I'm gonna be honest, dude. I got two. You got two. I got two confirmed species. We got at least a bluegill and a bass. Okay. Well, I got three, man. <laughs> What'd you catch? <laughs> I caught a catfish. I catfish. Uh, literally on the tiniest micro lure. That's honestly one of the species <laughs> I thought you'd have the hardest time catching. You see that little thing back there? The little pink one with the white? Yeah. You caught a catfish on this? My first fish was a catfish. What? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I've been fishing with that the whole time. <laughs> well, good game, Fletcher. I appreciate it, boss. That was a fun challenge. Yes, it was. <laughs>